welcome back welcome back welcome back you guys welcome back to my channel and i am going today going to be taking a look at tennis but tennis in the rules of tennis or ex a video explaining tennis to me because when i took a look at roger federer amazing guy amazing moves killer backhand but i wanted to know more like there was things that i looked at that i didn't understand and there were some questions that i had that i wanted answered and i don't know if there's any of you guys out there that want to know more about it as well or are unfamiliar with the sport but i know i do for sure so before i get into anyone else that can you know show me more about tennis or watch anyone else in action i want to take a look at a video that explains it all so i want you guys to join me in doing that so let's go ahead and take a look all right so how is tennis played here we go hello friends welcome to the school of sports in this video i'll be explaining all oh, the rules of tennis i've been playing tennis for 18 years 18 years it's my life he should be I'm able so to explain it to me to you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to explain you the rules of tennis let's get it started by talking about formats of tennis tennis can be played in singles one versus one doubles two versus two team event which is a combination of singles and doubles i didn't so know there was any such thing as a team singles one doubles or any combination then there's a mixed doubles where a guy and a girl play against a guy and a girl i co -ed. let's okay. talk about tennis code tennis code there's a net in between it which divides it into two parts your area and your opponent's area there's a baseline you need to hit shot within the baselines there's a service line you need to solve between net and the service line there are doubles line because this whole thing is used when you play doubles and then there are singles line because this is the only oh. area which is used when you play tennis singles rest. that explains the lines to me oh my god i was watching roger federer's video and just like what are all these lines mean what do they mean what's the point so singles apparently can't go play outside of that and doubles can play all the way out it i'm learning so See? we're going to talk about tennis singles and then we will extrapolate it to the doubles so let's ignore rest of the area then you can see there is a center mark what's the purpose of center mark so let's just say you're standing facing the net well it's difficult to tell in this this scenario so let's rotate it you're facing the net there's a center mark which divides court into right hand side and left hand side every okay. time you start a game you'll be standing to the right hand side of the center mark always so you're okay. standing on the right hand side of the center mark and you're at the start is every start on the other side every no matter which side you're gonna start with the surface so you'd serve when you're serving you're standing on the right hand side of the center mark and behind the baseline so this is the blue area in which you can toss the ball and hit the ball always outside Once you hit the, ball, the baseline its first bounce should be in this <clears> green area to have a good serve and life gives you one chance, but tennis gives you two services. <laughs> you toss the ball. I like that. Life gives you one chance. In the green tennis area, gives you two. Your first serve is fault, and then you get the second serve. Your, if your second so serve you is have good, to hit in that green area. Gets done Period. To hit the ball in such a way that the ball bounces in the green area. So if on the two chances, if you don't get it, then it's the uh, the op the opponent's turn to serve. Am I am I getting that right? That's my guess. Yeah, once he has done that then it's your responsibility to hit the ball in such a way that the bounce is in the green area and this can go on forever. So how do you Back win the forth. point? Well, to win the point, there are four ways. You hit a really good shot that he's not able to reach there. It's called winner shot. Or you hit a shot that it has two bounces Bounce before he hits it. It's called double bounce. Third option is you hit a shot and he hits into the net. And the fourth is most common when you hit a shot and your opponent hits it outside the playing area so winner so double in into the net and outside and now let's talk Those about the four ways you can score like every other sport tennis start with zero zero but in tennis zero is known as love so you say love all when you win the first point it's called 15 when you zero win the second love. point it's 30 it's when you win the third point it's 40 and if you win the fourth point that means you I wonder what made them call that love you need four points to win a game and then you need six games to win a set and you need to win two sets to win a match so <laughs> you need to win a lot of points oh to win my a gosh to get to see this is what was happening in the last video and then anytime i've ever like just seen it walking past somewhere on, on tv whatever i would notice someone would have a lot of points then i would notice they had zero and i'm like wait where did their points go so this makes a lot more sense to me they get up to the fourth point once you get the fourth point that turns into a set and goes back down to zero because you start over for the other set 
That makes so much more sense. I'm so happy I'm watching this. All right. Now let's simulate the match just to go through the scoring and where you stand and how you sell. So zero zero. If you're watching tennis on the TV, you'll always see there's a blue blue uh, pointing thing or a ball or anything in front of a player's name. That signifies that that player is serving. Since this is you and you are serving, there's a tennis ball in front of you. Tennis score is zero zero. Call this glove all. Now your opponent is standing there. Can he stand anywhere? Yes, he can stand anywhere in this area. But just think about it. Your first ball should be in this though. green area. So think about the trajectory of your tennis ball. That's where your tennis ball can go. And he's standing right in the middle yeah, of it. Would it make, so make really much sense to stand anywhere position. else? If you're standing at P1, you need no. to watch my video. You cannot stand there. <laughs> it's useless. Yeah. If you're standing P2, then probably you'll have to hit the circle directly without a bounce. And you cannot do it. You have to let the ball bounce when you're receiving the serve, so that's violated. P3 and 4 are okay, but if P3 very close, you'll have less time. P4 very far, ball might have two bounces before it reaches yeah. you. So P5 is a good position. Now let's start it. You get two serve, first serve fall, you have second serve. You get the second serve, good hit serve, hit it's a oh, good shot. Winner. It's a winner shot, he got the point. His score becomes 15, and tennis, whoever is serving, you call out his score first. Love or 15. Her score. So it's love 15. Yeah. After first point, first point you stand here, serve here. Second point you, oh, so you always switch. switch. Side. Remember, you stand in the right hand side of. So now you're gonna serve and, and hit in that square. Side. And you have to serve in the so other side, other green box called serve, serve on the serve. right, and then after that you're switching. It's a good serve. You want a point, so score becomes 15 all. That's an ace serve. Ace is very popular. If you serve and your okay. opponent is not able to touch the racket to the oh, ball, that's called an ace serve and you win okay. the point. 15 all. I've seen that and that didn't make sense. Oh, that's a lead but serve. That's. So basically what lead is when you're serving, oh, your lead. ball hits the net and then bounce in the service area, then you reserve it. But if your serve hit the lead and its first bounce is outside the serve area, and it's, it's a fault serve. In this yeah. case, you get it. For serve again, Check good me serve. out. He hits an outside shot, you win the point, your score is 30, because it's 15, 30, 15. Next point, good serve. Okay. Into the net, oh, you got the point. point. One more, 40, 15. Oh, that's in false serve. serve, you get a second serve. Oh, he outside. An outside shot, and you won the game. Remember, you Then the game the goes into the set, and you, you start back off with zero left. Zero, zero, <laughs> but that counts towards Makes your sense set to me score. Now. So your set score becomes 1-0. Now you need to win five more games to win a set. That's how it works. Four points to win so a game. Six of the six back and forth set, getting and points up. Six sets to get a match. Six sets to get a match. Now, two let's matches talk up. About doubles. Ten, what, what, seems like it can go on a long time, huh? Than singles. In doubles, four players. This is you, your teammate, your opponent one, and opponent two. Just like in singles. So stand opposite stand and one's right inside. inside of center mark for the first point. And Oh Just goodness, wow. Area, you serve in the green area, but because it's doubles, you get an extra Oh, they get to move out so extra. I forgot. They get the extra room. in this blue area, and you have to serve in the green area. Awesome. You hit a good serve. You won the first point. Just like in singles, you come from that side to this move side. Over. But now, since Owen and is that receiving person, I'm pretty this sure service moves. block, Oto will go back be in the way. and receive in this service block. So Oto goes back and oh. gets ready for the same serve. Owen comes back, your teammates stand. So if you're there. so what I'm gonna is if you're serving, then you just switch sides as you would after you serve and your other person would switch sides. But if you're, if you're the opponent, you guys alternate and come in and out versus moving this way. Okay. Okay. That's strategic position. I'll talk about strategy in other videos. We don't have much time here. So in second point, you stand here and you need to serve in this green block once the point is done. You go back and then you need to serve back this forth. area and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, Please thank you. So he just explained like so much more to me, friend. which was awesome. So I appreciate being able to watch this video. I'm glad I did because it explained so much more to me. You guys don't understand how I just was so confused when the points went away. I know you guys are probably like, what the heck? But I'm like, I really would be like, wait, wait a minute. How to get zero. So. Now I watch this, I get it, I understand it. Now knowing that you gotta get six sets to get a game and then you gotta do that twice, so that's a total of 12 sets to get two, two, um, what is that, two matches, I mean. So once you get two matches, then you win the total thing. So it's like, 
it seems like, especially if you're going back and forth and you got a great contender on the other side with you, it can take a while. But it also seems very, very, very calculated and technical like I thought it was. But it also seems fun too. So remember I said I swore I knew what I was doing when I was playing back in the day when I was a little um, with my friend Younger playing outside at the tennis courts at the park. And we swore we knew what we were doing. I know for a fact now we didn't. That's for sure. But either way it goes, I know now and I cannot wait to watch the next person. So you guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you out as well. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't and I will check you guys out next time.